Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. You already know, baby. Listen, those of you that's been rocking with your girl, wait, hold up. Those of you that's just tuning in, I need y'all to join the Die Cousin Gang, okay, by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell, and I need you to light up the comment section with hashtag the cousin gang, then you'll officially be my cousin. You already know, baby. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, you already know how we get down on. We be like, well, back, back, a back, back, a. So we turned up. Nah, we not. I'm tired. It is 7:10 in the morning. We're getting ready to go do some Uber. Um, yes, the house is still empty, guys. I'm a single mother. Okay, so this is why you still got an apartment tour with no, um, cribs yet, okay? So stay, so stay tuned because we come in, okay? I'm just particular on the pieces that I want and some of it is a little expensive. <laughs> but let's get on the road, okay? Because y'all... We got to make, we got to make this money, okay? I have tunnel vision, okay? And we're gonna get there. So, let's go. I'll see you. Woo, hey y'all. All right, so it is now 12.51 and I changed because uh, everything I'm about to say is about to make sense, okay? Don't allow your emotions cause you to miss out on your blessing i'm gonna say that again do not allow your emotions to cause you to miss out on your blessing okay there's a lot of times that we make decisions because of how we're feeling and we're not truly in a sober place and because of that it results in us missing out okay why am I saying all this? This is the revelation that I got from this morning. Okay. Um, my friend called me because she, mind you, she had already planned this. I already knew about it. It's in my calendar and everything where she was going to treat a few women um, who's really, really had it hard um, in 2020. Okay. And, you know, so she told me, come out, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool, no pressure. You know, I'll come support, you know, making myself available, you know, to assist her to serve. Because y'all know I love to serve. But because I was in my feelings, I text her and I said, hey, I don't want to impose. So you have fun today and just take a lot of pictures. The message never signed. It has the exclamation mark on it. Y'all know how iPhone is when the message don't send. So, she called me this morning while I was, you know, doing Uber or whatever. At the time, I couldn't answer. So, I, so then she texted me, call me. So, when my passenger got out the car, I proceed to call her. And she was like, hey, are you coming? And I was like, uh, no. And she was like, I need you to come. And I'm like, mm. In my head, I'm like, mm. I don't, I don't, I just don't want to be bothered. I got tunnel vision. I'm just trying to stay focused, you know? <clears throat> so then she, she is, she's persistent. So I'm like, okay, what? And in my head, I'm like, okay, God, does she need me to pray for somebody? Pray with one of the girls? Like, you know? And then she finally gave in and was just like, I wanted to treat you for your birthday. And y'all, uh, she wanted to treat me to a massage for my birthday. Now, what would have happened if I didn't answer the phone? What would have happened if I didn't even call her back? Um, and I went into this space where I just avoided her. Okay? I would have missed out on a massage. Okay? But I say, 
all that to say, and this is the revelation that I got from it. Like, how many blessings did we miss because we was in our feelings? How many blessings did we miss because we was in our feelings? Like, you know, when God unctioned you to call somebody or God, or you got that unction to go somewhere and you was like, I, I don't want to go. Or you, you like, whatever it is, L pay attention. And we could miss it because at the end of the day, we don't know when God is going to show up. We don't know how God is going to show up. So I say this. Keep your emotions in check, okay? I'm not telling you to stop feeling and I'm not telling you to desensitize yourself. But what I'm saying is learn to get your emotions subjected, subjected to the word of God. When you feel like you're drifting or you're going too deep or whatever the case is, you you got to find you got to find a way to reel it back because sometimes the being in our emotions really makes our vision very very foggy. It, it causes confusion um a lot comes with it a lot comes with you know our emotions um especially when you're not in when you're in a place where you don't want to be bothered you want to go into consecration listen because baby when i say i'm there i'm there you understand what i'm saying so don't cause your emotions don't let your emotions cause you to miss out on your blessings. And I I really pray that this minister to a lot of you. Okay? Because normally we'll be like, oh, I, I, I pray that it touched that one person. No, I pray that it touched many of you when I say this. Do not allow your emotions cause you to miss out on your blessings. Because our ways is not his ways. Our thoughts is not his thoughts okay we over here trying to figure out the playbook and how, on how god is going to run the play listen it ain't our business okay it, it's not it's not our business we just need to be obedient all right period we just need to be obedient but um before i go there we i'm getting ready to go to um a training for uh with um one of the prophets in the church so we're getting ready to go into a training i had already communicated and then um and then i'm gonna pick up my best friend and then we will be on our way to get our massages and yes i did cry i did cry because once again i had to fight those thoughts that you know i had to rebuke the thought of oh my birthday is gonna suck this year no i had to rebuke those thoughts and i broke down crying because the only <clears throat> the only prayer that i stated i said god let my tears this year be tears of joy be tears of appreciation be tears of happiness um and then my second prayer was blow my mind god just blow my mind i'm that radical so i made it to the church y'all i love y'all be blessed and be encouraged and i will see you guys in a little bit okay okay all right guys we are here we gotta hurry up though i'm waiting for bestie to come on so she could see where to park we still got 10 minutes, but, you know. So, I'm excited because I need it. But I was a little bummed to have to leave the, um, the training early because it was getting good. Revelation was flowing. And, you know, I love getting people's different perspective you know so so i'm trying to catch my own so yeah i don't know where bestie at but she better come on i'm trying to find my phone y'all which shouldn't be Bar. There it is. So 
so. Ooh, there go Bestie right there, Trav. So, push the button and get a ticket. Y'all know I'm the bougie one, right? So, she bougie in her way. I'm bougie in mine. So, you already know. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, it's not my first time here. I've came here multiple times because <laughs> this is Mama Dude's job. But, baby, baby, when I say they are phenomenal, they are phenomenal. And this video is not sponsored by Marriott. However, I highly recommend them, okay? I highly recommend them. My mom's been here. My mom's been with the company for over. I'm 30. I'm going to be 32. My mom's been with the company for over 35 years. Okay. So it's like low key. I'm a Marriott baby. But I highly recommend them. And if you ever do come to the Fort Lauderdale, go to the Marriott Harbor Beach Resort and Spa so that we can because baby you're gonna love it okay this, 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 this is what i don't like about this girl look at look at her look at her no bring your ticket come on baby you got your mask She wasn't ready for this, but women, having a friend like me, you gotta be ready in and out of season. Cause you never know what I'm liable to do or anything. Look who, look, look who it is, cousins. Who y'all haven't seen in so long. I've been around. You been around? Okay. So, let's go. I'll see y'all inside. Wait a minute. This is not Linda. This is Geraldine. Gerald, I'm lucky. Girl, it's okay. It's okay. It's Gerald. It's not Linda. Linda's not here. It's Elba. I got the I'm out. 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 Oh, come on, sis. Where are you going to Alright, y'all. So, I'll catch y'all inside. Y'all, this is who treating me. Look at her. She's so busy. Yes. Thank you, Gladys. You're not going to say hi to you, too? Hi, you, too. <laughs> I love my baby. He always get me. Oh, y'all see it? Y'all see it? Listen, y'all see it, y'all? What do you want me to do, baby? Okay. Now you want to get this other effect? Hold on. Oh, y'all see it? Y'all ain't ready. Mm. And when I tell you, let's let show YouTube your hands. Baby, when I say these hands are blessed. <laughs> All right, y'all. When I say I'm so relaxed, I am so relaxed. 
Okay. So now we're about to, um, I know y'all looking for Bestie. Bestie is getting a pedicure right now. So, um, I'm just about to go run upstairs. I'm gonna take y'all upstairs with me. But baby, when I say I need my bed, <laughs> honey, I need my bed because cousin, cousin, when I say I'm so relaxed, how y'all doing? Good. When I say I'm so relaxed, P2. P2. P2, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll see you guys when I go upstairs. Sorry, y'all. I had to put something in my car real quick, but I still have to get used to people watching me vlog. Because it'd be so funny. Sometimes, I wish y'all could see their face expression like, who's this girl talking to? So, Alright, now we're going back upstairs. Hello, y'all. I'm so relaxed. My whole wig shifted. Honey. Okay. Um so she rented one of the suites. Um, and remember I told y'all for my birthday, I think that's what I want to do is rent a like a dope behind suite. And just stay like a bite or two. I feel the I, I feel the blood flowing through my body because I'm that relaxed. Like even my voice changed. Sorry. No problem. So let's go up. 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 Yeah, it's okay. Where is Come we? On. Yes, we are. Oh, because I went to my car real quick. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all check my girl out. Y'all see, she fine, fine, y'all. Y'all see her? <laughs> she fine, fine. 12.55. Yeah. They sound good. I know, right? They sound good. I'm coming. Hello? All right, y'all. They live. Hey. You gotta walk. Oh, yep. <laughs> I, I, I gotta walk. You gotta walk. You gotta walk. I gotta walk. You gotta walk. You don't know what you walked into, huh? What? what? Record what I'm, what I got, what walk I gotta do? You gotta give them a little stink walk. I'll hold the purse for you, baby girl. Okay. I'll take this right here. No, you gotta out. wait. You gotta wait now. Oh. <laughs> what? Am I ready? I'm ready. I'm not ready to act a fool. I'm not ready to act a fool. Look, look. Thank God, come on now. You said what they say, wow. Yeah. Okay. 
Take y'all to the balcony real quick. Oh my God, this My best friend will not come out here. Y'all see this view? Let me call my dude. I don't even drink mimosas, but I will today. This is relaxing. Yo. Let me take y'all to the other side. Okay. Cause baby. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Let me show y'all the other side. y'all oh this oh i wish i could do a little confession here right now baby but let me go call hubby y'all i'll be back you bougie <laughs> them toes was sinning ain't it you gave Sandy, you gave Sandy some work, honey. <laughs> Sandy had to help them toes repent. Jesus Christ. <sighs> How you feeling? Tired. No, you relax. Relax, yes. See? Yes, I just want to take a nap. You're not tired, you relax. Wait till you go upstairs. Oh my goodness. Hello. Patrol. No, not the water bottle. Not the water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> not the water bottle. 
The toast ain't done. Oh, the toast ain't done, girl. Wait. Girl. Can I get an A? A. A? Can I get a man? Man. Let's go. Amen. Amen. Right. <laughs> uh -oh. I drank mm, moly. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta ask someone to rest for back. All right, you guys. So, I'm gonna chill for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get back to the morning. The shmoney, okay? Love y'all. Let them know what journey they had yesterday, what journey they had today. You never look someone up and down because you're not in their shoes. So I'm a strong believer you never judge anyone because you never know what they go through behind closed doors. So the reason to have this event is to motivate individuals that just had a rough 2020. 2020 has been rough for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. But it's, had, it's hit a lot of us harder than others. Um, we know the stories of every, almost every individual in the room. Um, we know what you've gone through. We know what you've been through. So the reason we wanted to have this is to give you a day. We can't take that pain away from you, but we wanted to give you a day where we can say, you know what, we appreciate you, we love you, and we will always be here for you to support you. So that's why we had this event. So it didn't matter the cost. It didn't matter my sleepless nights. <laughs> I was determined to have it. I personally will tell you guys, hold on, stay strong. I lost my brother. The beginning of the year was hard. I lost my aunt. My mom is like yesterday. Seven years, but it's like yesterday. Listen, we could get through this. You can get through this. You know, like they say, darkness comes light. Mm -hmm. You know? Pain. Sometimes it's that forever pain, but you learn how to live with the pain. That pain will never go away, but you learn how to live with the pain. So you will survive, you will stand up, you will keep pushing, and you will get through it. But you have to, have to have peace of mind. You have to, have to, have to, like Gladys always say, enjoy this journey called life. You really, really do. Because we are here one day, and we are gone the next. Okay, so you do not want to live your last days miserable. You, you owe it to yourself to love on yourself. You owe it to yourself to keep pushing. 
And whatever you guys wanted to do, I'm telling you now, go ahead, do it. You can do it. Do not doubt yourself. Just go for it and do it. Okay. All right, y'all. Today was a successful day. Um, I'm glad I did go. It was very well needed. Um, and then y'all already know, after I was done, I went to go bust Uber some out tunnel vision because I need to get to my goal. Um, I have to stay focused. Um, and it feels good to be back focused again. Um, when I say that massage was life, that massage was life. Okay. I'm so relaxed. And, um, yeah, so I love y'all. It was day, what? Day five. I'll see y'all day six. So let me go ahead and edit because I still got to get my computer was acting up. So y'all going to get like three uploads in one day. But I love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember at the end of the day, you, you have victory on every side. Yeah.